record. Yeah, my name is Rich Penkowski, and I run Warriors for Christ Ministries here in Tennessee. And where where do you live? What jurisdiction? Um, I'm in Middle Tennessee. I don't want to put where okay. I live. Publicly. I understand. Okay. okay, your time has begun. Thank you, sir. So I'm here, obviously, today to support the bill, uh, mostly because I've traveled all over the country, and I've been to more of these events than anybody else you're probably going to speak with. And um, I can tell you that the, these these events specifically appeal to the period interest of children. And make no mistake about it, that's exactly what's taking place in these libraries. I have videos. I have, I've been involved with the uh, mass resistance folks. I've been involved in exposing uh, pedophiles, convicted pedophiles that have been given access to children, uh, prostitutes, drug dealers, drug addicts, all reading stories to children in the name of tolerance. Um, I hear a lot of talk about this bill being about book burning and censorship, and I, I really believe that's a, a pretty far stretch, um, because this bill is not anything about that. This bill is very specific in its intent, and it's very specific in its language. This bill is to prevent sexual material from being entered into libraries, especially material that would appeal to the period interest of children. Libraries would never allow photos, and, I, and I've censored this. Um, so you don't. Have to, I'm not going to show you what's actually. You asked about the photo. Here it is, and I censored it so you can't see. Sir, yeah, that wasn't brought to us before. Oh, okay. So if you please, yeah. Put okay. That aside. Thank you. So in Putnam County specifically, a drag queen stood outside the library and exposed his genitalia to a child. That was actually brought to the attention of the library staff, the people that are supposed to have oversight that we say they're doing their jobs. You know what they did about it? Absolutely nothing. Instead, they had another dry queen story hour and invited the same people back. So the people that we're saying have oversight are not doing their jobs, okay? <clears throat> That's, this is happening across the country. This has not only happened here, but in Maryville, Tennessee, a library actually set up a table and display of sexual material with photographs of female genitalia on that table that were targeted to teenagers. And it wasn't until we got involved that they took it down. It's the same thing happened in Putnam County Library. They set up a display specifically targeting children with sexual material, and nobody did anything about it until we got involved. And I'm talking to myself, as Pastor Dale Walker from Tennessee Pastors Network. The librarians there are opposed to Christianity. They came out and made videos threatening me. They solicited groups from Louisiana to threat that were in the news for making death threats against me. And the librarian got a slap on the wrist and a letter of admonition in her folder. That's it. If I was a Christian, I did that, I'd have been fired from that library. So the people that are supposed to be in charge to make sure this isn't happening are, again, not doing their jobs. Monday night, there was a violent storm that ripped through Tennessee. The tornadoes affected several counties. But the fact that it didn't affect every county, is it something we should simply ignore? Do we pretend it didn't happen? No. Maybe these events aren't happening in your libraries. And if they're not, praise God for that. But you know what? They are happening at libraries across the state. And if they're not happening in yours yet, make no mistake about it, they will. The people are supposed to have oversight. They are in favor of these events. They work with these groups of people to bring them in. We've done FOIA requests all over the state, including Putnam. And the libraries there are the ones who advocate and bring these people in. How could you have oversight of a program that you are advocating for? Thank you for your comments, sir. Thank you. Does anyone else wish to speak? Okay, I see no one else. So we will go back into session. There are materials that have been supplied to me um, that are graphic and that I would not feel comfortable distributing to the committee um, because there, there are graphic images, uh, specifically male genitalia, that were exposed at this library in the state of Tennessee. And so what I'm hearing from the TLA is that they've got a handle on this and that activity, activities like this are not allowed or, or they're you know, monitored and controlled. And I think that there is evidence to say that that's not the case. I've also heard multiple times that uh, the TLA has told us that they already have control over this material. And in essence, several times I've been told how this is a censorship bill and it's so bad um, and that I disagree with. But in essence, what the TLA is saying is that they've already taken that right of censorship for themselves. So the image that was not able to be shown here today because of some of the things that are, that are shown is also not shown on, on network television. So there is a form of censorship that, that we utilize here in the United States that's commonly accepted. And so for us to say that this is some kind of egregious form of censorship that is novel, 
is, is not accurate. Um, there are, there is justification for this legislation. Again, members of this committee are obviously going to make the decision for themselves, uh, and that's fine. We have three objections. Continue. <laughs> Chairman Holt, you're recognized. I guess I've said my piece. <laughs> 